Uh, let's start with what was obviously the game of the week, arguably the game of the year in the National Football League, and that is the Philadelphia Eagles knocking off the Kansas City Chiefs 21-17 to in Arrowhead Stadium. Jalen Hurts, an inconsistent day throwing the football, but hit a big-time uh, shot down the field to Devontae Smith, had a couple touchdowns rushing. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, the Chiefs, though, struggled offensively. Third consecutive game in which they have been shut out in the second half. So uh, I will start with you, Devin, again, and what was probably the game of the year, Super Bowl rematch. Very well could be a Super Bowl preview for all we know. Great, two great uh, football teams. Were you more impressed by Philadelphia or disappointed in the defending champs? <clears throat> Honestly, it was a little bit of both, but I got to pick a side, and I was more impressive with the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, For the simple fact that, number one, like you said, Jalen Hurts did not have a great game. Jalen Hurts was only... 14 for 22, 150 yards, zero touchdowns, one interception. And he was only averaging about 6.8 um, yards of average in the uh, offense. So you can just bottle that up and just think about, like, that's not a winning percentage. That's not a winning chance for the Eagles. And then the way the momentum was swinging in the Chiefs' favor, everything was going in the Chiefs' favor during it before halftime. But then you can sit here and sit here, like you just said, on the second half. The Chiefs got shut out. You got a shout out to the Eagles defense. At first, they couldn't find a way to stop the Chiefs run. But eventually, the Eagles kept dug in, kept finding a way, kept on filling up the gaps, kept on sending in the right blitzes to actually stop their uh, second half run. So shout out to them on that. And then thirdly, thirdly, why I'm more impressive about this, Bryce, you might hate this. It helped my Ravens to become uh -huh. the number one seed in the AFC. Yes, I understand. It took 11 weeks for us to get there. Uh, I understand. But as the, as I keep trying to allude to the uh, outsiders, that my Ravens are a true contenders for the title this year. You've got to give us up to that. So that's why I'm more impressive about the Eagles win. Man, Devin was rolling. And by the way, real quick, I, I forgot to mention, I, I apologize to the audience. I should uh, uh, go ahead and give the, out the rules. This is the rules for the 8 o'clock spot. At least in the first round, a great take gives you 200 points. A good take gives you 100. An okay take gives you 50. And a bad take, you come home empty-handed. And right off the bat for Devin, again, you were rolling, buddy. I'm, it's a good take. I, I can't I can't fathom how the Philadelphia Eagles winning uh, it, it, is, uh, it was impressive because it helped the Baltimore Ravens. That's what I took out of that. It was like, what? Like, then listen, you, you gave it a solid taste. Jalen Hurts bounced back after a rough first half, and, and Philadelphia's defense doing what they did, probably their most impressive second half defensively of the season. But you're out here talking about, yeah, it, it actually, in the long run, it actually just helped the Ravens. It's like, what? Uh, I, I don't know. Nah. Stop. Don't First of all, I knew you was going to take away my points for that because I just knew you Steelers fans are just true haters, but that's fine. <laughs> just like the Ravens offense, I guess better at the time goes. Right, right, right. Of course, of course. Uh, to Dylan <laughs> Lima, uh, were you more impressed by Philadelphia or disappointed in Kansas City? Nothing to take away from the Eagles. I think they're a great team. They're obviously the best record in the NFL, but I'm more disappointed in the Chiefs. And the reason why I am is, I mean, quite frankly, that Valdez Scantling drop at the end of the game was unforgivable. That could have iced the game right then and there if he caught that in stride. Um, and also with the Eagles, Jalen Hurts, he's a baller, don't get me wrong, but I am sick of the tush push, man. I know it's not like a 100% success rate. It, it seems like with the Eagles, because every damn time they do it, they just somehow do it. What happened to the good old-fashioned QB sneak, man? It's just simple and easy, but nah, now you need extra players to help push you from behind. I could have sworn there was some kind of rule where you can't have your own players like grab and like shove your own player. But like, you know, but I mean, again, I, I guess rules are, you know, optional when it comes to the refs. Um, and I, I mean, the Chiefs defense, they did everything they can do. And, and Mahomes, he did great himself. He threw to like 10 different receivers, it seemed like, and still just barely came short. He's doing everything he can. Uh, I just don't, I just don't, I just think the Chiefs should have won that game. I'm just disappointed that that one drop and just the fact that those receivers just outside of Kelsey, you just see, I don't, I don't see how the Chiefs can really be a true contender come playoff time if, if Mahomes has no one to throw to. 
That's interesting. That's that's really interesting uh, a, a take there because the, the fact of the matter is I I would push back and say Kelsey is just as much to blame as the receivers because remember he had the red zone fumble uh, which took away points. But again, then again, Patrick Mahomes also had the 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 red zone turnover early in the first half where he threw the end zone interception to to Kevin Biner. So th- this was this was in many ways and this is a take a credit away from Philly because as you mentioned, Dylan, they are a great team. But Kansas City did shoot themselves in the foot a lot uh, in this game, whether it be with turnovers, penalties, they had to drive in the second half that stalled. Like it was it was not a great. Uh, uh, evening for that for that offense a uh, good take by you Dylan. i'm gonna give you the 100 points here pretty good take uh, again i think the problem with kansas city is uh, it's clearly not separating it's not being able to oh they just can't get open from homes they're getting open they're just not hauling them in be it valdez scantling be it justin watson travis kelsey's fumbling the homes is throwing interceptions uh but it's uh it, it's the Chiefs' offense has seen better days, but uh, I don't know if I totally agree with you that they're not contenders because that defense is going to keep them in virtually every game that they're in. we got to give them some love, no doubt about but it. one thing, uh, though, Bryce, though, just before you go to John John, um, the Chiefs has been dropping passes all year. You know, this is not this is not the first time or the first game that, you know, the drop passes have finally crept up to them. So that's why I really wasn't, you know, disappointed because that's what's been haunting the Chiefs, really. That's fair. I think they actually are leading the league in drops. So that's you know a great point, and that's that's something they have struggled with. And you know, last night you can make the excuse, hey, maybe the lights are in their eyes. Maybe it's you know it's obviously it was, it was raining far more than than I guess anybody would have liked. But yeah, that's that's a fair point. Real quick before I even get to you, uh, John, John, we got a comment from a an eight o'clock spot participant, the co-founder of the Grid Network, Mike Guido says bonus points for Dylan for the <laughs> misspelling of his name, true ne- negligence from the host. Uh, listen, I'm not going to give Dylan <laughs> points for my own Five mistake. Points. If I were a contestant, and maybe. It, Maybe when I'm a contestant someday in the future, I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll take away 100 points for myself, okay? But again, my apologies, Dylan. And, and just so we can, we can prove that I uh, went ahead and, and fixed that area. There, there you are back at the leaderboard, and your name is spelled uh, correctly. So, I, I, you know, fix that little area. So I apologize, man. Uh, to John Rivera, though, I'm more disappointed in Kansas City or more impressed by Philadelphia? Your, your, your mic's uh, muted. There you are. Yeah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, first two points, uh, the Jets are second on drop passes. Just wanted to say that. And uh, Mr. Runner Up, yeah, Baltimore. So they do some, they are going to be runners up, man. I, I like them. Like I said, uh, the, the, the week that I won, I, I had them as a front runner. But yeah, they are runners up. But uh, I think I was more impressed into the Eagles because they were down at halftime. Um, the Chiefs do what they do. You know what I'm saying? They take the league. They take the league. And can you wait one second, please? Yeah, we root for the Jets, my son says. He's a Jets fan. But, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. so, yeah, I was more impressed with, like I said, the Eagles because they had to come back in the rain, in Arrowhead, the passing game. Like, come on, like the higher MVP top five candidate was A.J. Brown, and he didn't do nothing. He had one, pet, one catch for eight yards. So, you know, I was more impressed in, in Philly. You know, they, we know they had the defense. They made adjustments. Uh, you know, they stayed in the game. Like I said, they gave the ball to Swift in the rain. And they did what they did. They they came back and they won. You know, they, they held themselves. And Kansas City, like they said, like y'all been saying, um, Kansas City been dropping balls all year. So that's something that might hold them in the playoffs. It might not. Who knows? Because last year it was kind of the same thing. So I'm not really too worried about Kansas City. But I was more impressed, like I said, with Philly making the adjustments and not. Like I said, they could have went down more, you know what I mean, in certain, certain uh, aspects, you know what I mean? Like I said, in Arrowhead, in the rain. But they kept it up. They had a, you know, they was down what ten at halftime, and they came back and didn't score. Then they let Kansas City score in the second half. So I'm more impressed, like I said, in Philly, you know, game plan wise. Like I said, AJ didn't do nothing. The passing game pretty much didn't do anything, and they they kept the, you know, the linemen was blocking, and you know, Swift was doing his thing. You know, the real Swift, not you know the other Taylor. <laughs> yeah, there was a Swift who made an impact in that game, no question about it. Uh, shout out, shout out to DeAndre Swift and and all the Swifties out there. Don't get mad at us tonight. Um, yeah, but no, you make it. You make an interesting point, though, about uh, about Kansas or about Philadelphia in the sense that you know not much went their way. Like it's it, it's easy to be a great team when you're when you're facing a lesser opponent. Maybe you're at home and and all that. We've lamented that, by the way, about Dallas and about Miami and at times about Detroit. But for Philly to go into, you mentioned hostile environment. It's raining. Uh, AJ Brown not involved. By the way, uh, it mentioned the fact that throughout the majority of that game, if you watched. 
Kansas City's defensive line was dominating Philadelphia's offensive line. Chris Jones was having a monster afternoon or monster evening uh, in, in that game. So, uh, you know, all, all things considered, I, I, I agree with all your points, John. John so I'm going to give you a great take. So John Rivera is in the lead uh, coming out of round one. Uh, and Devin Nettles and Dylan Lima are in second tied with 100 points. Let's look at the comments here real quick. Let's see, Guido. It's a good thing Guido's not on the show tonight. He says, also, the Warriors stink. Well, Mike, uh, your Cavs aren't much better, okay? I know you swept us, but who cares? It's November basketball. Only thing that matters is the NCAA season tournament but the Warriors we all know everybody here knows the Warriors are gonna win the championship when it's all said and done that will we'll save that yeah. for future we'll save that for future discussions on the eight o'clock spot here's